A rural Wisconsin mom shares her story. In 2016, her son was human trafficked in Madison. Now she says this is not the last time you're going to hear about situations like these. She wants other parents to know what she went through so they can understand what to look for. NBC 15's Cameron Kelly was able to sit down one on one with this mom and Cameron. This story has so many layers. In the final tragic years of her son's life, he was trafficked for over four months. She says he was being trafficked through Madison to Sioux City, Iowa. Her identity will be hidden for her protection and safety. The overarching message is this can happen anywhere. What do you remember your son as? Like, what was his personality like? Um, he loved art. Um, and music. Um, he was really into indie bands and stuff like that and um, just really was a normal, regular teenager. A rural Wisconsin mom says her bond with her only son was special. Went to the beach and, and uh, went kayaking and did fireworks together. Just fun playing in the yard together kind of things. It was just good to be together. In 2016, her world flipped upside down. The first time my son was trafficked, it was he was gone for six weeks and during that time he was um, forced to have sex with multiple women and when he didn't do what was asked of him he was beaten um, he came home with um, scars and burn marks and tattoos all over his body she believes his trafficking was drug related he started using drugs at the age of 11. he was a runaway while being away from home she believes he met people who told him they could give him whatever he desires. That makes you start to believe, and you start to believe that those friends you used to have don't care about you, because where are they now? Your mom loves you, your family loves you. Yeah, they do, but where are they right now? We're the ones who are here, and they've ostracized you from your family and friends so much that you believe that that is true. She says many are on the journey of finding themselves and sometimes cross paths with people who do more damage than good. Some young people are just looking for love. They're looking for acceptance, and they're looking for someone who will take care of them and not have to follow all those rules at home. Or Justice for her son has not been served. Police tell her there needs to be more evidence. Men who trafficked my son are still out there. Um, and so until they get caught, unfortunately, harming another child, will we be able to get any justice for our son? When finding out information about her son being trafficked, she says she heard from others that he was being sold on Craigslist. She says parents should know what their children are doing on their computers or phones. They don't realize that people right in our underneath our noses are selling people and um, it's happening on social media and on the internet um, at a much more frequent pace. This can happen anywhere. Do you think that your son would be happy that you are trying to spread awareness as well? Yeah, I absolutely do. Um, we kind of had a pact every time he would run away and come home and he would tell me everything that happened and then we would move forward from that day. This rural mom spent hours learning and educating herself on human trafficking. She says sharing his story to help others is something her son would be proud of. He passed away a senior year of high school um, at age 17, um, but I know he's looking down on us and very happy for the work that we're doing. His toxicology report says he overdosed on heroin laced with fentanyl. The conversation doesn't stop here. It will continue in the Madison area. A panel of experts will speak from their perspective at Our Lady Queen of Peace Church. This event is open to the public tomorrow at 7. Live in the studio, Cameron Kelly, NBC 15.